On this day, we would like to give prayer to the people and families that we lost in the tragic 9-11 disaster. This day was very tragic. We lost so many friends and families to the hands of people who were lost in faith. Across the nation, this day is celebrated by schools, churches, communities, and job areas. We give this day to the thousands of people who were loved and cared for others and God. It's really hard to comprehend that it's been 20 years. Um, and I think, you know, it's one of those things that if you live through it, uh, every year you reminisce and there's a connection you have to it. And I think where a lot of you are struggling, you students are struggling, is that it's not a matter of you being insensitive to the nature of 9-11. You didn't live through it. So the emotion of it, you don't have that connection that those of us who did. Uh, I was telling my social class the other day that, uh, you know, Kids are no different 20, 30 years ago than they are now. And I, I think back of the faces that were sitting in those desks 20 years ago watching sad history unfold. Um, I had a gym class first block of the day, and so tradition was they would shower because they didn't want to go the rest of the day sweaty. So my old room that I was in forever was 219 right beside Mr. Bradner. It was about 8.50ish. And I'm walking up the stairs, going to my room, and our custodian at the time, Mr. Yarger, he yelled out, he goes, hey, coach, you might want to turn your TV on. Uh, one, a plane hit one of the World Trade Towers. And at the time, when, you, when we turned on the news, they really weren't for sure if it was a small passenger jet. Uh, they really did believe it was pilot error. And so there was a lot of unknown. As we're watching, as kids started to filter into my room, uh, it was shortly after 9 o'clock, and about three-fourths of my class had arrived from gym after they showered. And we're watching the second plane hit the tower a little bit after 9. And the gasp in the room was audible. Uh, that's when we knew it, the first plane wasn't pilot air. That's when we knew this was intentional. And when class ended and we rotated the second block around 9.15, uh, kids were in my room when we heard of the, the Pentagon being hit. And then we knew there was something going on that the United States was under attack. Kids were in my room uh, shortly before 10 and after when we watched both towers fall. And I can't describe to you the emotion all of us felt. Um, I, teachers with tears, students with tears, not knowing what's going on. We had students in our building who had parents in New York for business. Thankfully, they weren't at the towers at the time, but in New York. So the unknown of that kid trying to get a hold of a parent that they couldn't get a hold of. And the whole day was just so surreal because in so many ways it was like watching a movie play out, but we knew it wasn't a movie. And it's kind of like my generation trying to relate to my parents' generation with Pearl Harbor. No matter how much I know about Pearl Harbor, I don't know what it was like December 7, 1941, to wake up and find out the United States was under attack. And for us who lived that, it's so difficult now to think it's been 20 years because every year when we memorialize this day, we can visualize and think of everything that we went through. So I think what we all have to understand is that maybe we should approach this day not from a 20-year perspective of putting so much focus on it, but every year memorializing and remembering there's so many families that have been destroyed because of this that every year, every day, they go through all of this. Think about the young kids 20 years ago who were four or five, and now they're 24, 25, and they really didn't know their mom or dad. So uh, I think we need to gracefully and reverently always keep this day in our memory and also pay very special homage to the first responders who ran in the buildings to save lives, uh, knowing that they were going into a very destructive situation, but they were running in as we were running out. And then the brave men and women who put our uniform on to go defend freedom and, and hopefully save us from further terrorist attacks. So I think it's a, it's a special day, but it's a special day for all the right reasons because we want to remember and memorialize all of those wonderful souls who were lost and all the wonderful people who represent our country.